Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it to talk about Helldivers 2 that just saw its release back at 4 a.m. Eastern Time. Look, some of you guys are crazy and you stayed up to play Helldivers 2. I cannot do that in this day and age. Uh, I can stay up until midnight a lot of times and get like an hour in of a game, but like, yo, 4 a.m., that, that's a whole different beast. If you're in the West Coast, it was obviously 1 a.m. and had a global launch time. And the game is doing really well from a concurrent player standpoint. That seems to be, like, the stat that everybody likes to follow these days, given that, you know, um, you know, it's a good way to gauge popularity of a game, and it's a publicly available stat as well. And Helldivers 2 is doing really well. Is it doing PAL World well? No, no game is going to do PAL World well for a while. But uh, it is doing very well relative to its competition. And Helldivers 2 is currently sitting at around 65,000 concurrent players. The game is obviously... The player account, I should say, is obviously fluctuating, and that number will continue to fluctuate over the course of the weekend, uh, given that, you know, this is a game that's very much catered towards the Western audience, and uh, w most people stateside are either, as of recording this video, um, it's a little early, people are still sleeping in the West Coast, or people are actually at work. So, later in the day, I could see it go up, and uh, over the weekend, that's really where I think the game will be uh, thriving, if they can fix some of the issues, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But right now, as, as it stands, Helldivers 2 concurrent player count for PlayStation Studios titles is ahead of just about every game outside. Actually, it did beat Marvel Stu uh, Marvel Spider-Man's uh, launch numbers, I believe. So it's above all of the games except for God of War 2018. And I could see it past God of War 2018 uh, if it does fix up a lot of the issues and if the momentum continues over the weekend. And um, yeah, right now, obviously, it's a little bit of a different ball game given that uh, all of the other PlayStation Studios titles, they they were delayed releases on PC, but they were still big games, and it's a good assessment factor to have, and this is a game that you know, from a marketing push and a promotional push standpoint, it did not have uh, the IP attachment that some of these other games had, like a Last of Us, a Horizon, a Marvel Spider-Man, God of War. Those games are much bigger. Even Days Gone got more of a marketing push than Helldivers did. Helldivers 2's real strength right now has been word of mouth, but I would argue that that word of mouth has been incredibly strong. And really, word of mouth these days in the year 2024, that's the most pr uh, powerful promotional vehicle that you can have. You can't buy word of mouth. Word of mouth is something that's just created. You're gonna value your friends opinions way more than you're gonna value my opinions critics opinions what uh, you know developers and promoters are gonna tell you you're gonna trust your friends and Helldivers 2 is one of those games that if one person enjoys it oh the infection can then bring uh can then come in because it's a co-op game you want to play with a group of people it incentivizes you to have three other people and three other friends that are playing this game as well and given that it's currently sitting at 65,000, I think that player longevity is gonna be there at least for a little bit and it does have cross-platform play which you know thumbs up to sony playstation whoever made the decision to make this a cross release day one you need to do it for games like this if you're gonna drop multiplayer live service style titles you need to drop them day one on pc as well so you can remember the game is the service at this point it's not about the game selling people playstation 5s hell divers 2 ain't selling anybody playstation 5s at least i don't think it is but it is a game that you need an investment commitment from the player base and at least for the short term They've got that right now, but it is being hindered a little bit by the issues on PC. Right now, the Steam release is at a mixed release, uh, mixed reception, excuse me, 2,639 reviews. 52% of those reviews are positive. Now, the positive sign is most of the issues that people are having are... All of them can be fixed. When we talk about performance issues, that seems like it's a regular occurrence with PC games and PC games ad nauseum. And we talk about PC games ad nauseum having performance issues. I was hoping Helldivers 2 was going to be a little bit better. From what I am reading, people are experiencing crashes. People are experiencing some performance issues on AMD GPUs and uh, things of that nature. So that is stuff that they can get fixed and hopefully they will fix that ASAP. That'll improve the reception uh, quite a bit. Also, there are some issues with the uh, cross-platform matchmaking. We talk about cross-platform matchmaking being so important, the cross-platform release being so important. Well, all of that is moot if the cross-platform matchmaking is going to lead to crashes, which is generally what's happening to some people. They got to get that fixed ASAP. And really, all of those issues, performance issues, cross-platform uh, matchmaking issues, they should have been fixed right out of the gate. Just because uh, Helldivers 2 is a game that I was looking forward to, I'm not going to let that slide. That stuff that should be uh, working right out the gate, but for a lot of multiplayer games they do have these server issues and these issues day one and hopefully the goal should be 
we got to get that fixed by the end of today, or at the very, very least, get that fixed at, by the end of the weekend. But the weekend is your chance, your real opportune time to pop off. People are going to have off from work, and people are going to be looking for the game to play with their buddies. Helldivers 2 is exactly that, because... When you talk about co-op games, I don't know about you guys at this point, it's hard to get a group for their schedules to all convene and you guys all be on together. Outside of the weekends, it gets diff more and more difficult when everybody's working a 9 to 5. Well, you have the weekend, this game came out on a Friday, set it up for success on the weekend, and if you've got performance issues, if you've got cross-platform matchmaking issues, which, again, a lot of people do uh, want to pick this game up on PC, their boys might be on PlayStation 5, so on and so forth, you gotta get those issues resolved and you you gotta have this game have the biggest opportunity to make the first impression count and right now when issues like this occur the first impression is just fumbled so hard and you just wish that developers and publishers and I get it me saying it on a YouTube video is a lot easier said than done when you actually try to execute but guys this first impression is so important for a game like Helldivers where word of mouth is good to have people you know have their eye on a game and try it out but then when they see a mixed reception when they see issues like performance issues and matchmaking issues and then also the anti-cheat has been a big point of discussion where it has kernel level access uh to your pc that's gonna vary person to person on how um worried they're gonna be i get that from some people for some people it's just you know on the basis of this should not be a thing at all and protect game guard is the anti-cheat it uses and that's having a lot of pushback and a lot of uh, points are being drawn at that being a reason for the crashing i don't know as far as that's concerned that's not something i could answer but as far as the anti-cheat goes yeah obviously you don't want to have kernel level access to anything, especially not an anti-cheat, and uh, yeah, that is going to obviously scare some people away. I don't think that's going to be the biggest hindrance for people to check out the game. I think things like the server issues, I think things like performance issues, that's going to be the biggest deterring factor. But when it comes to stuff like that, I really wish that these developers would make it abundantly clear that this is what's happening and this is going to be the anti-cheat in the game because that's something that people should be abundantly aware of before pre-ordering the game. It just happened with Suicide Squad where last minute they were like, all right, guys, anti-piracy DRM coming in and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, you just don't want that stuff. Or if you are going to have that stuff in a game, make it abundantly, abundantly clear. Have it promoted on the Steam page. Let people know what they're getting them, uh, themselves into before they spend their money on it. Now with Steam, you do have Steam refunds, but a lot of people pick the game up from GMG because it was a little bit discounted and uh, you guys get the idea. But for the most part, these issues are solvable. And if they get it solved by the end of today, I could see this game really popping off by uh, the weekend. Come tomorrow morning, I think the game's numbers can be very healthy if they do work on the issues. But right now, they got to work on those issues. And right now already, like 64,000. If you told me a couple weeks ago that this game would have had 60,000 concurrent players, I would have told you you were crazy. And yes, I get it that concurrent players is going to be a little bit misconstrued these days because so many people um, were looking at Pal World. And Pal World did fall off. I looked at it yesterday and the game was sitting at, I think, 400,000 or 500,000 players, which you know, incredibly successful number, but people just have this warped perception of concurrent player counts. Right now, Power World is at 779k, which is still incredible, uh, but obviously it was peaking at well over a million for a while. That's just not sustainable, guys. Even with Helldivers 2, 60,000 is not going to be sustainable, but you had major releases like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, P3R. Um, those had concurrent player counts in the mid-40,000 range, and Helldivers 2 doing better? That's a very, very good sign, and I foresee Helldivers 2 being a game that could grow if they do solve the issues but we'll see if they ultimately do do that um you know keep an eye on their twitter page i'm sure i'll be doing more videos talking about it if they do uh fix it up if you are looking to buy the game green man gaming 17 percent off use the code feb17 check that out but that'll do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.